Hello there viewers, OCG with another video and this time about my new phone I got today it's, it's really nice it's Sony Ericsson Xperia play now this phone is awesome I mean you get all these preloaded games for these Xperia play games now I can try them because uh, I don't have internet reception here when I am right now you see uh, different, different how, different home, everything different. No internet reception, so I didn't even sync my Gmail account or anything. The brand new Gmail account I'm using, and uh, now none of these games can work. For example, I click on Bruce Lee, and it says, "Do you want to download data from Netflix?" Now I can't do that because, because I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have that, that thing there anyways this is all nice this phone is what made me what made me change my opinion about Android in general cuz you know that's um, that's how I that I felt that's how I felt before with uh, like and like Android I, I, I wasn't a big uh, fan of it it felt like it 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 shouldn't it felt like it 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 shouldn't uh, be there because I was thinking R S is like better and everything oh, this this thing can't can't fit here never mind let's leave it like this I don't care now this uh, despite not having the internet I did manage to do one thing like I was walking city and I, I successfully found one wireless connection with uh, with no with no password. But uh, that's not the only thing I, I got. I got something else. I got a brand new VIP uh, SIM card. Now the, the everything is there as you can see. And plus, okay, this is uh, my currency. This is about a uh, hundred euros. Uh, free bonus credit for this car for example like you charge uh, you charge your you you buy the credit for for this uh, the sim card and you get the bonus uh, for example you buy like uh, i don't know uh 2 euros and instead of 2 you got 4 euros but but you lose those uh, those 100 uh, euros you have bonus and you have 98 bonus more so it's always the double when you when you buy credits, it's really, really nice. Everything. Uh, uh, I got some stuff uh, as well in the box, as you can see. Got the Samsung uh, micro SD adapter if I want to connect the card with laptop. Now, the SIM card is like uh, very, very bad. It's um, only 2 gigabytes, but I will be buying uh, as well. Now, this is like when you uh, you want uh, to put your battery out, something that uh, an iPhone can't do. This is a um, little oh, some stupid things, some, some more, more stupid things, some more information. There is no proper instruction book here. Uh, headset, uh, European charger with a charger with European adapter I guess and one year warranty on my name as you can see I uh, this is all my now there is one thing that I did when I got the reception in city and this was the ultimate test uh, to see how it works now as you can see PlayStation pocket now this is uh, how it looks it looks like uh it looks like a PSP kind of thing but you want to know this thing what I don't like when I wanted when I clicked search in the city to see are there any more like um, things oh Wi-Fi no, it got lost. They were saying that it's free. There is one signal here, but it's really bad. Can barely open emails. 
Now, the, the, when I clicked the search bar here, they said uh, it's uh, not available in my region, and I was so pissed off. I mean, why can't I? Why can't I like uh, buy anything from PlayStation Pocket Store? Of course, uh, we have. Uh, okay, now it's like this. The screen can go like this. Something that uh, iPhone can't do. And now. As you see, I'm going to show you. There is a market. I didn't even go. I didn't even went to market because I was doing something else on the internet. I will get that in a moment. There is this option, get the games as well. I don't know. I have idea what that is, but Android Market is there, so you can buy Android games as well. When you play Android games, I'm assuming you don't need uh, these uh, PlayStation controls and to like touchable touch uh, sensitive analogs kind of nice better than PSP go i guess the this this phone is a lot better than PSP go now th this is what i did this game was uh, preloaded and um, i was very happy there are two versions of the phone with the uh, siphon filter preloaded and crash bandicoot preloaded and what phone did i got of course uh, okay i was like a little trying um, to see and you see the game works a PlayStation game on on like the Android phone with no custom emulator this is a built-in emulator and you can basically use this built-in emulator to okay I'm playing with one and one hand so this is kind of difficult and almost impossible Okay, so as I was saying, uh, this uh, this emulator can be used to manipulate uh, other like uh, like r r ISOs, but I don't I won't do that because uh, there were like uh, some games uh, you need to do software rendering, then it's uh, stupid, and uh, plus there are some people who said that that uh, method uh, disabled the uh, Crash Bandicoot game that came with a phone uh, so like uh, after doing that shit uh, this game won't start properly the, well when you do that method the other games uh, that you did that with show in the PlayStation Pocket Store but I won't do that I would most likely purchase uh, FPSA uh, emulator from Android Market in, in three weeks uh, or less when I get back home cuz uh, I'm sometimes going home but not that often so can't talk to you guys that much cuz I'm renewing my house it's gonna look a lot different everything is gonna be fresh the builders are there they're breaking everything and they're rearranging it kinda nice and I'm happy with that and this phone I basically this is all the money I like uh, got to left uh, so no more no unboxing videos until I don't get some money ah crap late reaction so anyways I'm not gonna play cross bandicoot with one hand when I have when I can play with another when I'm not filming this so this is basically when you want to this is awesome feature you see I'm now here and there is a quit button you click and you can make sure that save progress is ticked when you exit the game you see now you're in main menu with other applications and games you click on Crash Bandicoot they're gonna ask you if you wanna continue you so and you're here so this is something that, that, that bothered me when I was playing on a console or PSP even you 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 can't do this uh, like you need to enter the bonus uh, round and uh, get the Tana tokens or uh, like uh, or smash all crates now this is the excellent uh, thing if you for example are in a hurry and you need you must stop playing you you, you have to do something important and uh, you can just press this button here click quit 
OK and make sure that save progress is ticked. And when you do that, you're going to be returned in the menu. You can like do this, press the lock button and lock your phone and get this phone whenever you want to. And basically, that's it. You can continue playing when you, when, wherever you basically go. Now, in my opinion, this phone is a lot better than the iPhone 4, and I'm not gonna, now, I'm not even sure how much am I gonna use iPhone 4 right now, cause I try PlayStation game with uh, like uh, with like um, iPhone and with the emulator PSX for all. That emulator is available for Android as well, but I don't like that emulator. It's horrible. Even on Android devices, it doesn't work that great, despite being free. Well, I would rather pay some money to get the high quality emulator like FPSA, which I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna manipulate with this uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, AP APK file to get the other games, because then this ma might stop working. I won't risk that, because then it would just be hard to restore everything. Now, this what I like about Android is you don't need to ruin your phone in order to like uh, get the things uh, working for example there are two types of stuff you can jailbreak your iPhone and root your Android device and uh, about jailbreaking iPhone I find it necessary cuz uh, without jailbreaking I really don't I don't really don't see the point of uh, having uh, having the iPhone as a device cuz uh, you can't do anything. You, you can't download the third-party applications uh, uh, from the iPhone. You, you, you're stuck with the App Store as the only place where you can get apps. Apple is a dickhead when it comes to approving games. And I don't like that. I don't like that shit. You need to pay 99 in order to become developer. So that's stupid. You like waste your money to become developer now and then Apple tells you that your app is not good enough. With Android, that will never happen because you can you can make any game and put it on Android Market, and nobody will tell you that the game is not good enough. So basically, if you wanna if you wanna get the game, you, you if anyone wants to get the game, they can. Nobody's like forcing them now. This phone, this phone is like born for the emulators. Uh, emulators are compatible with these buttons and. The phone has really good configuration inside and everything, so the, emul the most of the emulators are running smoothly, even the N64. I was seeing the gameplay of um, N64 emulator. It's, there is even an N64 emulator called N64 Roid, and it's optimized, for, it's optimized for Xperia Play. There is that version, so all these are working uh, flawlessly. Now, obviously, since there are not enough... Uh, buttons like on N64 you, you need when you're configuring some of these uh, buttons will maybe have a function as well when you're playing the, the sun game but most of the game like most of the games like for example Super Mario 64 in my opinion are good enough with these controls like you can maybe move Mario with analog maybe if you wanna put something here I don't know you, it's your choice uh, I'm gonna get the emulators soon. Multiple of them. I'm probably gonna sell my GBA right now because I'm gonna transfer all the games on the cartridge I own legally and some games that I don't because I fucking can and nobody can stop me. And uh, I'm gonna like try the emulator for for Xperia Play and see how it works. I hope it. Uh, I hope it can run really great because then I can sell like uh, GBA and uh, get some money and this is this is basically the real gamers phone this thing is um, really nice uh, you can put all the retro games NES, SNES, all the all the Sega systems PlayStation 1, N64 now the downside of this phone in my opinion is not being able to play PSP game the only PSP game that can now work is Loco Rocco but there's the two things about the game first the game is only available on Japanese um, 
PlayStation Pocket Store, and uh, even if it, even, and you can only get the game, for example, in Europe or America, if uh, you have your, if you have rooted your, your Xperia Play. Now I don't see a point of uh, rooting. Uh, I don't see a point of rooting. Uh, this is just to get that one game. Sure, you can overclock the device and make the emulators even more smoother, but I am not gonna do that because I was seeing the gameplay of the games. You just need to enter nice settings, and they can all work nice, like without ru ruining your phone, basically. Now, if you see this, you're gonna see you can go to. Uh, settings and you can see applications you, you can see uh, unknown sources uh, allow installation of non-market applications you can basically tick that and then you can browse the internet and get the paid apps uh, for free but that's usually not a really nice thing I, I, I always uh, prefer showing some support but that's a nice thing if you want to try the game before purchasing it if you want to see if you like it or not but as I understand the Android has a 15 minute uh, trial something that the iPhone doesn't have again better thing and that you can basically see it that way but some emulators they're not on the Android market, uh, they need to get down from slideme.org or something like that, so I take that. Now, another thing, uh, the main reason why I hated the Android before is like because the only phone I had the Android on was uh, really not my type. It was HTC Wildfire, that's my brother's phone, and uh, honestly, I, I don't like that phone. The screen is too small, no flash player support not anything and that's another thing the iPhone doesn't have a flash player uh, Android does you can see I didn't try out flash player because I told you I don't I, I don't oh crap I got on support by the accident settings now as, as you can see when you go and applicate uh, now okay you can see I uh, didn't sync anything uh, applications, uh, manage applications, all, flash player. It's installed right here. So you can w watch all the videos without having to download a Puffin web browser or anything like that. You have your own browser like all the Android systems does, but I recommend getting some browser like Google Chrome from Android market and that's basically it this is the latest uh, software inside this is um, this phone has already been sim free when I bought it in store and that's it I hope you enjoy this video now I'm switching officially to Android I'm still gonna have the iPhone for some exclusive iOS games like Crash Nitro Kart and Nitro Kart 2 and a couple more plus it's really a great phone but I just don't like that that how Apple is sometimes strict about some commands and I don't know the Android just uh, it just uh, it's more open source so it's better for the starting developers now that's basically it I hope you enjoyed and see you all guys in three weeks or less